brother time to get in right over into the Lord's Care Ministry, a light shining from above, day 322 of the year 2008. Now, brother, time to open up your Bibles again, blow the dust off of them, and go to chapter and verse and be able to read along with me. Use the pause button down below here so that uh, when I go too fast, you'll be able to read with me. And that is mighty important that you be able to read the Word of the Father along with me. And also write down the chapter and verse so that you can go back and study it at your own leisure and get the whole context, except not just a little bit that I give you. Okay, Isaiah chapter 27 and verse 8. He is staying his rough wind in the day of the east wind. Now let's go over to Second Samuel 24 and verse 14. Let us fall now into the hand of the Lord, for his mercies are great. Now we go to Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 11 and read, I am with thee, saith the Lord to save thee. I will correct thee in measure, and I will not leave thee altogether unpunished. You're going to get, he's going to criticize you. You do something wrong, that's what that says. Psalm chapter 103, verses 9 through 10 and 14. He will not always chide, neither will he keep his anger forever. He hath not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquity, to our lawlessness, for our breaking the law, for breaking even the least of the laws. Which one do you think is least? For he is knowing. Notice, brethren, when we find that T-H, E-T-H, I've said it many times before. I replace the E-T-H with an I-N-G and put an is before the word. For he is knowing our frame. He is remembering that we are dust. Okay. Malachi chapter 3 and verse 17. I will spare them as a man is sparing his own son that is serving him. 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 13. God is faithful who will not suffer you to be tempted above all that you are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape that you may be able to bear it. Now let's move over to Luke, chapter 22, verses 31 through 32, and we read, Satan hath desired to have you, that he may sift you as wheat, but I have prayed for thee, that thy fail not. Good Lord don't want you to fail. He's praying that you don't. Isaiah chapter 25 and verse 4. Thou, had, thou hast been a strength to the poor, a strength to the needy in his distress, a refuge from the storm, a shadow from the heat, when the blast of the terrible one is at a storm against the wall. Anticipation of the believer, a participation in the judgment, 1 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 2. Do you not know that the saints shall judge the world? See the judge, our nature wearing, clothed in majesty divine. You who long for his appearing, then shall say, This God is mine, gracious Savior. Own us in that day of thine. In God's word only do we trust, never in the tradition of men. His, a Philippian pilgrim, a workman for God, a friend of Christ. Fear not, O little flock, in Revelation.
Revelation chapter 2 and verse 10 we read, Fear none of those things which you shall suffer. Brother, are you fearing those things? The man down there on that corner that they call a church, he tells you to be afraid, to fear. Don't. The Lord tells you, don't fear those things. Stand up and look in the eye. Brother, we had mentioned breaking the commandments earlier. Are you breaking any of them? The least commandment. Which one do you call the least? John. First John says, who break the least, you then broke them all. If you don't honor the Lord's Sabbath, you are a murderer, a thief, an adulterer. Hey, I'm not saying that. The Bible says that. Christ is saying that. And Hebrews says if you can 